Welcome back to In Photoshop 1. To make a button in InDesign, you will want to make sure that your Buttons and Forms window is open. Open this window by going to your top menu and selecting Window, Interactive, Buttons and Forms. You may add this window to your panel like so. We will start with a shape. You can edit this shape to appear however you would like. After editing the appearance of your object, be sure to group all elements you wish to include as your button. I will make my button one object to avoid future confusion. This is especially handy when making a large publication. Select the object you wish to convert to a button, then click the Convert to Button tool at the bottom of your Buttons and Forms window. Now we will add an action with the addition sign after the word Actions. Here you can see all the different actions we can give our button. Take note that some of these actions are divided between SWF and PDF only and actions that work for both applications. SWF is an abbreviation for small web format. I will select go to next page. This option works for both formats. You may also select when you would like this event to take place. I will select on release or tap. Then I will click on the rollover button in the appearance section. This will allow me to edit the appearance of the rollover state of my button. I will go to the swatches and select my green swatch. Finally, I will edit the appearance of my button at its click state. I will choose a darker green. Before exporting your button, you will want to make sure that it is working in the way that you have intended. Do so by going to the top menu. Select Window, Interactive, SWF Preview. This will allow you to interact with your button as you would on your website or PDF. Because I have selected the button to take me to the next page, I will add a page to my document. Now you should be ready to export. Go File, Export, Adobe PDF Interactive. A screen will pop up with several options. We want to keep our resolution at 72 ppi. This is a standard for all online images for optimized speed. We will press OK. After exporting, open your PDF with Adobe Acrobat. You should be able to use your button as intended. You are now ready to start making interactive PDFs and HTML documents with InDesign. Be sure to watch my next video where I show you how to add hyperlinks to a publication in InDesign. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.